lift off the cover, one of the things you're going to want to do is after you break the seal is twist it. Because if you lift it up, honeycomb or trays may lift up. But if you just lift it a teeny tiny and start turning it, you can feel the ooze separate. All right. Does so it look pretty happy? No, there's some activity. Now, what are we going to do with this? We're gonna put this just across here temporarily. And now, oh yeah, let's take a peek at that. This is our honeycomb boxes. And you can't really see in there. I don't know if you can, let me see if I can zoom in there, but they're called Ross Rounds. And they're little round boxes that the honeybees are supposed to make for easy honey production and honeycomb. Uh, I'm gonna pop it off. Should we pop it off and set it there while we brush the dead bees out of the bottom of the other one? Oh, we gotta come back. We're gonna need some major editing on this. And I'm gonna run, oh, I already ran out of room. So it doesn't even matter. Well, I'm still recording. You're still recording. Okay. Well, if you upload it yours and I upload it mine and then we start cutting out of that one. Same thing. We're gonna twist and lift to break any comb. Can you see up in there, Susan? Mm -hmm. So they definitely are working this. Maybe we'll have some Ross rounds, this box that we can pull off and then we'll have a little Ross rounds to share. They are working in it. I don't see anything capped, but I definitely see them building comb. I see comb being built. Okay, so we're gonna just sneak this on top of here for right now. They're definitely getting a little busier. Oh, yeah, if you could look at the entrance there, you could see they're chasing mm -hmm. the drones out. Mm -hmm. Get out. It's the end of the season. All right, here's the quandary though. Mm -hmm. I am not going to worry about the bottom right now. I don't want to disturb this hive and everything that's made. This is their main thing right before the winter. Only because we cleared out the entrance and you can obviously see they are dragging out all the dead bees. So they're going to have no problem cleaning this side out by themselves. So we're going to leave it and we're going to uh, just start putting everything back together. We got a good peek. If we really wanted to, we could pull one of these up, but I don't see the, it's necessary. I think it'll be more trauma than anything. I think yeah. they'll do their own job as they are. The main thing was shutting the other one off and checking if this gross round had to be removed. Mm -hmm. But everything looks very healthy up there. What do you say, pretty lady bee? Let's put the top back on. Okay. Leave them be. And make sure you move slow. Usually if you move slow enough, you don't hear that little crack, that little pop, which you crush the little abdomen and release that pheromone. So they start attacking. Okay. No. We did it wrong. Sorry. Wrong way around. All right. Let's try that again. And Ooh. the box was supposed to go on first. So, let's get the box back on there. Okay. Try to make it as even as possible. Don't stress out too much. The boxes are never even. I even built a few myself and it was a little better quality, but it's still not square. Unless you set up a fixture of somehow. Okay, so now the top goes back on. Slowly but surely. Oh, that sounded like a bunch of crushes. Okay, so we're just basically going to leave this like now. You can see they're definitely reorientating themselves and going in and out. The point is that no bees, docile. When we get any real swarm and we didn't even use a smoker, we recommend that you always have it anyway. You should have make the proportions. Error on the side of caution. 
and we'll leave this other side open and make sure all the bees get out and then maybe close it up. Just get a little more tape on there so nobody crawls in there. I don't think they want to be in here anyway. And next year we will remove this and either build a, a real horizontal hive or just keep it and only use mediums and loss rounds for easy maintenance. All right. I guess we're off to the next time. Seems good. Very happy that it wasn't dying due to pesticides or colony collapse. It was just a matter of that there were too many dead drones in there and we had to temporarily move the guard. We'll put it back on once the winter and once we feel all the drones are gone.